welcome back everybody to the Northern Gaming 100% Win Eden Streak and Repentance Countdown. Let me check the calendar. Oh my gosh, two more days until Repentance. And let's check out our Eden Seed real quick. SFY9, A7JP, Bad Speed, pretty good everything else, average or better. And of course we got Holy Mantle, so that's going to make uh, for some pretty nice rooms where we don't get hit in and we got the d7 which has some uh, unique uses there's probably a way to break the game with it but I don't know but I know oh gosh we got able <laughs> we're getting all the best items today um, I know the best thing I use the d7 for is if you fight greed in a shop you can use the d7 and it becomes a shop with things for sale so definitely try that if you're strapped for cash. No wait, if you have cash and you don't have a shop, definitely try the D7. Random pill there. Could have been speed down. Thank god it was speed up. We actually have average speed now and that makes me the happiest boy on Christmas Eve. Alright, let's see what we Oh, we got butt penny. That's a, that's a good addition. Charged key. Uh, D7 resets the room. It respawns enemies. So if there's like an easy room, like this was easy, we could respawn this room and maybe get a drop. Actually, let's let's try and see if we do it. Kill these guys real quick. He'll kill him. So there we go. And we got a bomb that time. So thank you, D7. Now we can bomb this thing. Sure. Okay, for for two pennies, not not worth it. But that's okay. It doesn't respawn boss rooms. You can't get more boss drops. You know. Uh, I don't know what happens if you use it in a devil deal, probably nothing, or it just teleports you out for fun. If you use it in a boss room, it teleports you out to a random room on the floor, pretty sure. Been a while since I picked it up, but I know it resets the shop, so that's a nice thing. And it resets regular rooms, definitely worth trying to get more drops if you've got an easy room. Sure, why not? Holy Mantle saved us from a hit there, first of many. And we got low health, but it's good because, I mean, it's not good, but it's okay because we have Holy Mantle, which is good. And a Tears and Shot Speed. Look at our Shot Speed. It's already through the roof. I'm enjoying that very much. And we got high damage. We could explore that room over there, but honestly, it's probably a sacrifice room. So let's get out of here. Uh, not much repentance news. Ed did a little Q&A on Twitter. He was like, hey, I did four big interviews. Is there anything that I didn't talk about for, like, the development yet? That people wanted to know, because obviously there's game stuff people wanted to know that he hasn't talked about yet, but he can't talk about that. But somebody was like, hey, what was your favorite thing in Repentance? And Ed was like, well, it's the thing I haven't, or the thing we can't talk about. So, I'm excited for that. Who isn't? Uh, there weren't any other two super deep questions, as far as I remember. Get him, Abel. Abel! Gosh. Anyway, um, so that was nice that he did that, but I don't, I don't remember too much of anything else. I don't know. Maybe I didn't read the right replies. But so not too much news. But it's two days before repentance. So if you take a long nap, honestly, when you wake up, it's going to be a repentance time. We'll redo this room. These uh, these guys are pretty easy to take care of. And we got holy mantle, so we can enter the curse room for free. Hey, there we go, a free battery and bomb. This smells like a secret room to me. But first, let's redo this room for the third time. Try to get another bomb or key, maybe. Uh, okay. We'll take the louse. That's fine. There's a troll bomb. Oops. Didn't have to take that battery, but we did. So you know what that means. Alright, here we go. We're trying to get a bomb or a key, maybe? Nothing. Alright, let's reset our mantle and get a free curse room. Good thing it's free, because it's pretty overpriced even then. Alright, thanks for nothing. Let's see what amazing things in here. And incredible. Well, at least they don't chase you down, right? Abel, you're firing in the wrong direction. Alright, let's look for the item room and get on towards the boss. go. Key is pretty nice. 
bunch of flies. If we get hit here, I'll be sad and shocked. Okay, no drop. We could D7 this room, but you know, why, why do that when you could D7, well, not this room. Either way, we're looking for the item room, so we'll, we'll do some more D7 magic later on, maybe on, maybe. Uh, okay, we got a tinted rock, and oh, we need a bomb. Okay, we need a bomb, so we might as well do this room again. That's right, I changed my mind immediately, just like everybody should when presented with new facts. Alright, Holy Mantle saves us there. That, that was a, uh, a planned hit for Holy Mantle, thank you. No key. Pretty unfortunate. Or no bomb, I should say. There's a the bomb. Okay, we got a Tinder Rock and a Super Secret Room, in my opinion. So we're gonna put this right here. Perfect. Okay, we could play that for maybe a new trinket or a couple soul hearts. Again, I, I would like the item room before we hit the boss. I think most people prefer getting the item room as opposed to not getting it. Alright, we got a penny. We could redo that room, I don't know. Okay. Butter bean, but we could make it wait what? Wait what's pretty nice. We are a little low on bombs. Wait what has a, I don't know, percent chance of replacing Butterbean once it's on a pedestal. So we're gonna take Wait What and leave. Okay. Break this pot. Free money, if there was money in it, which there wasn't. That's okay, hey, here's a battery. Free money? Nope. Alright, perfect. Little horn. Knock the bomb out of the way. Abel will shoot a bomb towards me probably at some point. So that's uh, traumatic. Perfect. Good hit over on Little Horn. Oh, and he almost killed himself. Alright, speed up. We don't need it, but we'll take it. It's nice to be faster. And, hmm. Well, let's see. Well, that's spiders. Ghost Baby's fine. I don't know if we want to trade one third of our health for it. And Equilibrium... I, I'm not a huge fan of Equilibrium, because I always feel like I made the worst choice. If I get, if I walk into a Krampus fight, oh, I missed Holy... or uh, Sacred Heart. Oh, if I walk into Holy Water, oh, I missed a bad on. So, honestly, I don't like Equilibrium at all. But it's nice, sure. Um, how about that for a conflicting message? Yeah, let's, let's pass. I mean, we got great stats. We'll save the red heart for something better, or we'll go for angel deals, who knows? Free money. Alright, let's see if we missed anything on this floor that wait what could assist with. Hey, here you go right here. In a second. There you go. Alright, let's see what's in here. Wow. I'm really glad we got in there. Over here is some flies. They get hurt by the floor spikes, I don't know how, but they do. And... Uh, maybe. Maybe if that was all red chests. But, uh... A little too rich for my blood. It was a penny. That's nice. Okay. So, a bit of a slower second floor. But... We got, wait what, and some more speed. So we shouldn't be that slow in the future. Caves 1, Curse of the Lost. Pretty rare to see the caves, but nice as well. We could use Wait What to blow up the mushrooms, but we just gotta make sure we're not in within, you know, poison explosion radius. Or we can be, and we just use up Holy Mantle. So, let's see how that goes. Okay, we didn't even use Holy Mantle. What's this? Alright, we got room for a new trinket. It's positive. Got a bomb fly over here. Perfect. Okay. Checking for magic mush, of course. Not cursed skull. We got another sacrifice room. Okay, we're nearing 15 cents, so we should do everything in our power to get it. Especially if we go in the shop and need it. 
Uh, and here it is, the shop. Boom, there you go. 16 cents and more spacebar items. Red candle's nice. But we're just going to take the heart, I think. We're getting a little low here. Might as well uh, bump it up a little bit. Alright. We got... Uh, wait, what? We might as well check for secret rooms. I don't even think it could spawn there. But, you know, it's an ever-charging item, so there's really no downside to checking. Unless you need it right after you checked something. Also, as an explosionary mechanic, it does open doors. Sometimes. Alright, let's see what's in here. Nothing. Nothing, really. Okay. Let's take out the silkworms before they get too overwhelming. We can use, wait, what, on the mushrooms? The enemy mushrooms? As well as the, uh, the real mushrooms? Alright, one rune, please. Perthrow would go a long way. Okay, never mind. Perfect. Oh, we are definitely blowing those guys up. Also, potential secret room to the right of here. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Well, a pill. Lemon party. Lemon party. Not an explosion, despite what some may think. So, uh, we don't have to worry about that opening a secret room. But yeah, the secret room would be... Actually, it might be right off the wall there. So, we're going to have to check the upper door. If there is an upper door, I don't know. It's cursed the loss, so we don't know the layout of this floor. There is no upper door. Perfect. Alright, we are in pretty much a desperate need of the item room. And, uh... Well, that was a quick kill. Hey! Mini Mush and a Soul Heart. That's pretty nice. Mini Mush gives us shot height and speed. And Magic Mush in the same room. Never seen that before. Obviously more speed, more damage, more range. Beautiful. We still need the item room though, because it can't be too prepared. Here it is actually, so that was, that was pretty easy. Tech 1. Unlimited range. We already pretty much have it, as you can see. But you know what? Sure. I should have just used wait what? I don't know why I bombed that. But uh, Tech 1 can get some cool synergies, especially if we find Spoonbender along the way. And it's never a bad thing to take. Like Tech 2, it's terrible step cousin that nobody likes. Alright, so we're piercing. We're hitting all three sections of Chad right now. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good thing that Tech does. Killed those flies before they had a chance to even breathe. So it was brutal, but effective. And there we go. Hopefully we get, you know, a little chat or something cool. Oh my god, we did. Alright, no devil deal, no great item in the shop, but... Hey, magic mush and mini mush in the same room. That's crazy. I really got three keys. So, I don't know about that room right there. Oh gosh. Okay, let's... let's actually, we don't have to break these, because we're not going to get any more mushrooms. Is there another kind of mushroom? Does this break open that? Ah, uh, no, it destroys it. Oh well, it's like we have a golden bomb anyway, just on a small timer. Yeah, we don't have to break open the mushrooms anymore, because we already got uh, magic mush and mini mush in the same room. Is there another magic, or is there another mushroom item that drops from mushrooms? I know there's God's Flesh, but I don't think it drops from sitting mushrooms, you know, on the floor. We're very fast, and that's okay. Perfect. Free curse room. Free bombs. Free flies. That's fine. The freer, the better, I always say. Oh my gosh, we got the mega bat. There we go. Okay, real good item in here. Rainbow Baby. I can never turn down Rainbow Baby no matter how many times I try. Okay. Could be a secret room here. 
There you go. S regular secret room? Oh my gosh. These buttons, they messed with me yesterday, but I'm feeling lucky today. Hey, perfect. You know what? Perfect. Some opportunity to hone our technology skill. And I'd say it went pretty well. Okay. Don't know what was there, but it exploded instantly, so I'm okay with that. We've got a shop down here. We don't quite have 15 cents, but I guess we could try it out and see what's up. Compass. Let's re-roll. Get two more cents. Now we definitely have 15. Broken, or uh, glowing hourglass. No thanks. Let's go for Champion's Belt. BFF. Black Candle. Tarot Cloth. Those are the big four, probably, from the shop. Mom's key, humbling bundle, blanket, wouldn't be bad either, you know. Okay, um, Mom's baggy of pills is pretty much the bottom tier item alone in the shop, so stop. Okay, well, we got some money that only took some time. How about that? Alright, tech is going to be great here. We're piercing through all these. This. Vice. I don't, I don't know how you say it. Is it vice like Vicera? I don't know. Anyway, here's uh, the boss. The hollow, also destroyed by tech. Pretty, uh, pretty handily. Well, not too handily apparently, but still. There we go. Alright, we got the box, which is questionable at best. At least it gave us some interesting... Things. Take this trinket, sure. Get some more bombs. Get a devil deal of the red chest variety. Let's see, what if we took uh, the angel deal, devil deal item? Equilibrium. What if we took that and then we went in the devil deal? I'd be so sad that I missed the, the obvious sacred heart and that floor is angel deal. That's what I'd be thinking the whole run. So that's why I don't take equilibrium. It's just upsetting. Much like most of my life. Alright. Gotta get this guy. There we go. Okay. Curse of Darkness. You hate to see it, if you can see it. And, uh, hopefully we get out of here pretty quick. Rainbow Baby doing some charm shots on those Globin. It's always nice to see. Oh my gosh. Alright, we took a hit there, but we didn't actually take damage. I don't think we've taken actual damage the whole night. So now that I've said that, it'll happen very soon. Incredibly soon. Alright, we gotta check what's in this uh, room. Three red chests. You know what? Sure, you know? Sure. Oh gosh. Okay, well there goes the mantle. But we got piercing, so these knights shouldn't be a problem. And then what's the last thing? Globins? No, angels. Okay. There we go. Alright, well worth five bombs, poison bombs. Since we're not, you know, using our bombs that much. We'll have them for bosses. Magician card? Hey, that's Spoonbender on a card. That's great for some strange boss that we can't usually stand in front of. Can't think of it right now, but when we go into the fight, I'll be sure to use it. Or I'll forget we have the card entirely and leave it behind. Could be either one, really. Thank you. We've got plenty of money for the shop now. Holy Mantle saving another hit. And... Mom's Bottle of Pills gives us a health up. Honestly, not exactly what we were looking for, Mom's Bottle of Pills. But thanks, I suppose. There we go. Another penny. Another dead end. Let's see, this can't be much, but... Sometimes the little rooms are fun. Yeah, this one's fun. Sure. 
chests. And we got the, uh... Wait, what? So they're free for us. Bunch of bombs. It's a filigree feather. Hey, we'll take it. We might get an angel uh, deal. So why not? Alright, terrible room for us, but we're using Holy Mantle to just go real quick. So actually, great room for us, now that you mention it. Is this the secret room? No, okay. Could be above that. Maybe. I'm not really looking for the secret rooms, because I feel like we're doing pretty good. So I don't want to abuse the game too much, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Big room here. Oh my gosh. A couple different exits. Here we go. Okay, that was pretty quick. What do we got here? Judgment. Judgment's always nice to see. Right, Mr. Judgment? Who just exploded? It's crazy. Alright, there's the shop. Humbling bundle, blue candle. Humbling bundle? Sure. We're low on keys. Hopefully that bumps us up. Keys for the rest of the run. There it is. BFF. Jumper cables. Wow. So that's a tough choice. I mean, given our current layout, I'll go with BFF for Rainbow Baby and Abel. Two of the pillars of this run. And now they're even more pillar-like. Hopefully that's not disgusting. Is this mom? No. Okay, we found the shop, we found the item room. Alright, we're good to go. Gish, wow, another boss drop predetermined to not be damaged. But you know what, we got Magic Mush way earlier, and I'm really glad we did. Or else we would have been suffering by now. By a lot. Alright, we're going for the Angel Deal chance this time. Give me that old Angel Deal, please. Wow. Okay. Little Gish. Also uh, boosted by BFF. So really, I can't, I can't complain. It might as well be uh, Synth Oil. Alright, we're going to try to break the portals before these guys jump on us. Another Holy Mantle hit, but that's okay. Mom's Wig check. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Alright, relax. Pop these for extra money. Perfect. So much money, I don't know what to do with them. And, uh, check these for hearts or something. Nope, okay. Alright, we haven't had a ton of hearts dropping, but we haven't technically gotten hit. I think. So, that's okay. For once. Alright, there's the double keys that I was hoping for from Humbling Bundle. And we got our last regular item room. Hoping for something not a spacebar item. Well, it's not a spacebar item. Lost Fly, some people hate it. I think it's incredible. Also, with BFF, it's just that much bigger. Take those bombs. We got full red hearts, which is something to say. There's mom, but, uh, should we go back and get the shop? I'm thinking, yes. Oh my gosh. We almost took our first damage of the run there. How embarrassing that would have been. Yeah, we got more of the floor to explore, and we already missed boss rush by, like, two minutes. So why not try and find something useful, like a double key room or the shop? Well, here's two keys. Perfect for the room. Hopefully it's a treasure room with more keys. This is, this is great. Alright, that's cash that makes the shop worthwhile. More bombs for when we use them offensively, which I'm still forgetting to do, by the way. Oh, a curse room? It's going to be free. That's lovely. Uh-oh. Almost took that sick damage. Ooh! Thanasia, does that do anything for tech? I don't think so, but it's one out of three for Spun. Spun is a great transformation. Ups your damage, and I think your speed. 
Alright, so I think we are looking for the shop, because we do have the 15 cents. If we could secure Black Candle, that would mean a lot for the run. And here's a Tinted Rock. If we get Small Rock, that would be helpful. But we didn't. Oh no. I hate these people. They're brimstone, and they're pushing everybody around. Alright, somehow we didn't take damage. Lost Fly, are you trying to are you trying to end this run, Lost Fly? Look at him go. Oh my god. He's a killer. He's a natural born assassin. Is that a movie? Get out of here. Baggy of pills, you serious. Alright, what's in here? Well, Ventricle Razor is not what anybody ever wants. So we'll do this. We'll kill this man. And we can donate, maybe, for more angel chance? If we make it to, like, ten donated or something? I forget. There it is. Okay. Well, we'll do a little more. Bring it to 990. You don't want to go over or else it goes all the way back to zero. Like when you have to blow up uh, the greed machine to get Keeper. How disgusting is that? Getting Keeper. Ugh. Anyway, let's go on to Mom. It only took about two more minutes and we got Euthanasia and some Angel Deal Chance. With Filigree Feather, that could prove very useful. Another Tinted Rock here gives a, a very useful Great Chest. Lost Fly's doing who knows what on these rocks over there. Oh my god, Lost Fly, you just took like half HP off Mom. It was incredible. And she she did it again, right, right over the eye. That was crazy. Good job, Lost Fly. Alright, no Devil Deal or Angel Deal. That's upsetting to the nth degree, but it's guaranteed on this floor we'll get a deal. And we don't have anything to donate to to up our Angel Chance, so it probably be a, actually probably is, doesn't matter because it's 50 50 so who knows what it'll be all right actually what, what can we do to up the angel chance I think getting a regular beggar to pay out maybe like with money not blowing them up might be an angel up I can't even say for sure because who knows Alright, we get some more cash. Very useful. Another tinted rock here with... Well, we got our keys back at least. And money that we don't know what to do with. Okay, there are pills, but who likes pills, really? Nobody. Could be worth doing, but honestly, what do we get that's the best thing out of that? Cricket's head? We already got magic mush. Can't get the multiplier again. So... I don't know if it's worth doing. Maybe we get Infamy, maybe we get Steven, maybe we get Fate. Okay, those are all good items, sure. I don't have anything bad to say after that, actually, so... Who knows? Hey, put your head up. Okay, you talked to me into it. We're gonna do the challenge room. If we get hit once, that's okay, we got a heart on the floor. It's not like we're running a hitless, uh, you know, record or anything. Alright, tech is great for Chubb, the same reason it was great for Chad. Three segments, I'll get hit. Piercing damage times three. All the adds pretty much die pretty quickly. Teratoma is going to get pierced. Actually, that sounds pretty painful. Okay, we took a hit there because holy moly. We used, wait, what, to divert the onslaught of the uh, pieces, but they just kept coming anyway, so that's okay. And Loki. If Loki hits you, just uninstall the game. Cue Loki hitting me in about two seconds, probably. I'm just kidding. Any, any boss can be tough. I hate Blastasis, so everybody's got their uh, white whale. Alright, well, we got tons of cash for no freaking reason. Until we pick up money equals power, of course, on the chest. So, let's keep going. That worked out well. I think the first thing I want to do in Repentance, let's see, probably the challenges, just to see what the new like unlocks are for them, and the, if they're any fun, like ultra hard, quote.
quote unquote fun. I know they're not all going to be unlocked because I'm pretty sure you need uh, to kill the witness or the witness equivalent to unlock Jacob and Esau, probably. And then if they bring back the double vision challenge, that'll be fun with them. It's probably like Dad's Home Light, the double vision challenge. Um, it doubles pretty much every enemy. Like this room would have four wall spiders and four of the dudes here in the middle. The warts, or whatever they are, I don't know. But you're Jacob and Esau, which is two characters controlled by one person. And you both have 20-20. Oh, our first hit of the run. Alt F4. That's okay. It shouldn't have been a tough room. I think our tech crippled us a little bit that we couldn't shoot around the rocks, but that's alright. We got the health up, or the heart, I should say, right here. Let's go on to fight a uh, matriarch. Oh my gosh. Some would say the best room for tech, I would say, maybe. Until I get confused and I stand in the wrong spot. But it's good, you can split, split them up and split them down the row, you know? We did lose our mantle early, but then we did get hit, so I'd call it okay. Check in here for guppies, all three guppy pieces. There's one. Okay. Really? And there's guppy for you. Pretty crazy how they all appeared there in the chest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, our incredible speed saved us there for once. Instead of damning us, which is usually what happens, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. We're not trying to go to Mega Satan, so we don't want to play the sacrifice room. I guess we can play for Angel Deal. But we've only got one spare heart on the floor, so we probably wouldn't end up too well. But let's see. Oh good. The bloat. The terrible, uh, that hit me? Or did the eye hit me? I don't know. A terrible aspect to have uh, tech used uh, with. So this is where we use the Magician. Where we don't have to stand under or next to the bloat. But the eyes still get us because what the hell. So this was the card, the boss, that we were going to use the Magician against. And we knew it from the very beginning. As soon as this room started, I popped the card. It was not 20 seconds in, I'll tell you that much. Alright, belly button. Whew, man, we're really getting some good items. If we didn't blow up that magic... If we didn't blow up that magic much, I swear to God, we probably would have lost this run. And obviously if we didn't have Holy Mantle, we would have lost our will to live. Um, I, I guess I'll take Immaculate Conception. I, I don't know what to tell you there. And because we have Filigree Feather, this angel will now drop another Angel Deal item, not a key piece. So we're hoping, obviously, for something amazing. You know, I'm talking big time Sworn Protector vibes. You know what? The soul's not bad. The soul's not bad. And we cleared the whole dang uh, womb. Alright, we got a chance at a, d a deal here, but it's unlikely, and even if it does happen, apparently it's unlikely to be good due to this seed or something. But you know what? We're having fun. We got Pin. We got these guys. Everybody's having a great time. Pin, I swear to God, get out of here. What did we just happen? Oh, there must have been a champion that did a death rattle. Perfect. Killed Pin, because he's one person in eight sections, but hey, who isn't these days? Alright, let's go over here and look for... Brains. We got our soul reflecting shots off of us. Pretty nice. Lost Fly does all the work there. Oh my... Abel, you son of a bitch. You see that? That was attempted murder. I'm suing Abel. And he's going to jail. Sorry. But it's true. Oh, I didn't have my bean back. I was trying to blow up all the flesh suits. Is that the correct word for them? I think so. Lost Fly taking all the flesh suits off. Man, that guy's a killer. And we got a huge growth card, which could be... Good. Rough room here, but actually Lost Fly is going to handle all the nerve endings, which is pretty nice, as long as we take care of the hands. And we did. So, alright Lost Fly, get your body count up. You got one more to go. Good job, man. Good job. 
All right, no tinted rocks that I can see here. Lost fly, doing a sweep of the area just to make sure. Perfect, perfect. All right, I don't know about this one, Lost Fly. I think I may need your help. Oh my gosh, we're trapped. Oh, we had to, and I just stood in the creek for no reason. All right, let's get this out of there. Perfect, and this is a Joker card. Pretty interesting. Um, okay, so this isn't the secret room. Well, fooled you again. All right, let's go. Let's go towards that room, maybe. All right, not a great one, but hey, bad gas. Yes. All right, we're not taking every pill, but at least we tried a bit, you know. Oh my gosh! All right, pierce the eyes, kill this guy. All right, we got hit. Thanks the soul for not helping, but we should be able to just stand still now and not be hit due to the repellent nature of the soul. Okay, I don't know about that guy up in the left. I can't comment on his shots, but uh, if he never shoots, that's you son of a bitch. Anyway. Oh yeah, we, we gotta move for Brimstone though. Or get double tapped by it, that's fine too. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We do not get a deal. Should we use Joker card here or in the Cathedral? I'm gonna use it in the Cathedral. Or maybe even the chest. N not the chest. Alright, well, we don't, we don't need to use it right now. We'll use it when the time is right. When will the time be right? You'll know. That's all I can say. You'll know. Oh my gosh, I got stuck between pots there. L Lost Fly, why didn't you kill this guy? Also, why'd you lead me to a dead end, Lost Fly? What the heck? Alright, so our hitless streak ended and then it got crushed by It Lives and that whole fight. And honestly, it's our own fault, so. I take full responsibility. But sometimes, just sometimes, an Eden streak is about winning and not about being a hitless perfectionist. And this is where we use the Joker card. And you know what? The mark? Honestly, wait, what? You had your day in the sun? I don't usually take the Book of Belial for any reason, but we'll take it right now to give us a bit of a damage up on Isaac. And maybe some other boss fights on the chest. Alright, we're going to lead this guy right into Lost Fly. And look at that. He gets so charmed by Lost Fly's uh, charisma that he just couldn't do anything. Oh my gosh. It's stuck on rocks. Alright, we've got another tinted rock over here, which is pretty nice. got to remember to use my bombs and not just press spacebar or else we will book a Belial the rocks on the floor which is usually not that helpful. Usually. This one walked right through Lost Fly and that spelled his doom. Okay, what's up with this floor? There's a bunch of branching paths. I don't know if we're near Isaac or just completely away. All I know is Lost Fly is really doing it. Oh man. He was almost really doing it. Okay, check this out. You ready? He's going to jump right on Lost Fly. Or not, because he was slowed. Which I wasn't paying attention to, because I kept my eyes on Lost Fly. But Lost Fly got him in the end. Lost Fly always gets his man. And that's the mantra he puts on his business cards, too. Alright. Little ghosties. Big ghosties. We're not afraid of any of them. Where's this one? Okay, cool. Plenty of red hearts. Thank you, little Chad. I guess we're going towards Isaac. This would be an extremely long hallway, if not. Okay, we are. Perfect. What came out of there? Ghost? A baby ghost. That's fine. And this guy, he's dead. Alright, here we go for Isaac. And we get a nice three damage up from Book of Belial. I think his shots are a little quicker than it lives, so I think we do have to dodge a bit. The mind can't just, uh, excuse me, the soul can't do all the work, considering we just got hit twice. But you know what? That's okay. 
Isaac, if you spawn and long... Oh my god. He's got a death wish. Isaac. Things will get better, man. Relax. He just spawned right in front of Lost Fly. It's crazy. Abel, can you... Goddamn do something. Alright, great shot style for us. Go over here to avoid the beams of light. And we bring Isaac to his final... Uh... Death... Or something. I don't know. I'm not Shakespeare. I'll tell you that much. Beautiful. Curse of the Darkness on the chest. Everybody loves Curse of Darkness. Okay. Shot speed down. Doesn't matter. Tears down kind of sucks, but it doubles our damage. I'll take it for the piercing. It's nice. Cancer, always good. Three health, and after the first hit in a room, we get uh, the wafer. Nothing wrong with that. So we're going to be firing half as often, but twice as damaging. And I think that's a good thing. And Abel agrees. So you know it can't be wrong if Abel agrees. Lost Fly is going to do all the work anyway, so I don't even know why I have any items besides Lost Fly this whole run. Okay, walked into the dark one there just to give him a chance. We got all these enemies that walk along or like fly through the screen. You know what happens when they fly through the screen? Lost fly happens when they fly through the screen. They can't stand up to the heat he's bringing to the kitchen. And that's okay. It's okay to admit when you're wrong. Alright, we got a nice card here. Hermit. That'll be... Uh, let's see if it takes us somewhere. I don't know. Okay, it took us a completely different direction. So it's either really good or extremely bad. And nothing in between. That's okay. Alright, Rainbow Baby. Little Gish. They're kind of helping clean up the poops a bit. Lost Fly's taking out the main threat, which is, of course, communism. Alright, two more keys for chests we'll never get. And the dead end, nobody told you about. Lost Fly, how did you lead us here? I swear to God. Gish, tell Little Gertie what to do next. Slow down. That's right. Little Gertie, slow down and relax. We got, we got an item at least. No, just kidding. It's keys. Alright, well. Thanks, Hermit Card. Uh, this is my worst birthday ever. Take out the Ragman pretty quickly, and then this man, not made of rags do some damage and still got to take out the black death's heads so that's okay should we go left probably probably not honestly let's go back to that room we teleported out of because you know what get over it. I'm talking to myself of course all right we three shot uh that guy so that was pretty cool and by that guy i mean famine but, you know, sometimes it's cool to disrespect your opponents. Don't believe what they tell you about sportsmanship in school. Just kidding. Anyway. War. Falls on his sword. No, okay, not yet. Death's pony gets out of here. Cool. Where's War at? Oh my god, man. What are you doing up there? Alright. War, the final horseman, as I like to call him. In this room, when he's last to die. Hey, we do get an item. Shh. Ludovico, everybody's favorite everybody's favorite item, and at least it has a good synergy with tech. Uh, the shot speed does kind of stink now, because we don't move it as quickly, but you know what? They're small rooms. It's a big circle. We'll be fine. There we go. And, wow. Get all the best items. And was this triple cage? Just double cage? That's okay, because you know what? We got him. Ludovico is one of the best items I could pick up at the end of this run. And I, if I started a run with Ludovico, by God, would I cry instantly. Okay. Another Gertie Jr. room. Getting owned by Ludovico and Little Gish. Oh, and Lost Fly. Can't forget MVP. If Isaac somehow, or Blue Baby, 
If he's not somehow up here, I'm gonna be very, very surprised. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we got these guys again. Smaller room, but the, hey, that means more space for Ludovico to do its thing. Ludovico Technique, a great uh, reference to A Clockwork Orange. A novel about uh, some guy who's uh, kind of a jerk. I'll just put it that way. Anyway, here's Blue Baby. We're going to do a damage up. We got uh, 25 damage, Ludovico. And Blue Baby doesn't know what to do with himself, so he dies. Great run, great run. Two more days until Repentance. So many more wacky, crazy synergies, hopefully, are down the line. And I know we're all excited for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a dislike if you hated it. I saw a couple yesterday, and I'm still okay with it. So thanks for that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Check us out tomorrow for uh, one day until Repentance. The last uh, episode of the countdown. That's incredible. And otherwise, that's it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow. And have a great day.